Hi, I'm Alex Fassi. Today I'm going to talk about I3C, a new protocol being developed by MIPI Alliance. The idea behind I3C protocol is to create a new standardized interface between host and sensors in mobile devices. This interface is intended to be simpler and more cost-effective than the existing solution while preserving as much as possible backward compatibility. In order to understand why do we need a new interface, let's take a look uh, at the current configuration, very partial example of uh, sensors host configurations that we have today. Most of the sensors are I2C sensors connected to the host through the I2C bus, having two signals, data and clock, or SPI sensors having uh, at least three wires in SPI, but these two are on the main interfaces. In addition, almost any sensor has interrupt signal to the host and uh, many sensors require, in addition, sleep signal from the host to sensor. SPI sensors require chip, se uh, chip select and also interrupt. That's how, again very partially, the configuration of host and sensors looks today. And how I3C changed this, uh, this configuration. First of all, I3C allows inbound interrupts sent on the main bus, which eliminates need for interrupt signals. The same with the sleep signals due to uh, standardized common command codes. So now we have unified I3C interface connected all the sensors in mobile device with only two wires. In addition, I3C protocol allows much higher data rate, uh, almost 100 faster than standard I2C FM plus interface. But uh, it can accommodate the FM and the FM Plus legacy I2C devices. Also, multi-master capability is preserved like in I2C and peer-to-peer uh, -peer slave transmissions are allowed. Uh, as for power consumption, it's now, according to calculations, will be uh, one-eighth of the power consumption of five square C bus. Uh, that's in general uh, advantages of new I3C protocol. Thank you for watching.